Okay, so let's start with the Bender challenge here. So click on Bender, and it says here, this is Bender the Bending Robot. So it says here, we've got a description, uh, Bender the Bending Robot, great. Bender has two flags hidden on his personal web page. Find the two flags hidden in these web pages. Okay, to start the challenge, connect to this IP address right here. So, and, um, so this one is actually has a specific port associated with that. So it's 10.0.41.1, but the port here is, uh, port 1337. So the leap port. So what we want to do is we want to copy the port, um, copy the IP address here, and then we want to access this with our web page. So in our browser, paste in the address, hit enter. And we've got Bender the Bender, Bender the uh, robot over here. So it says, "Hi, I'm Bender. Bite my bet, <laughs> bite my shiny metal robot. Something, something. Great. Okay. So um, what do we need to do? We need to take a look at. Uh, we need to take a look at the robots.txt file. So robots.txt is a file that exists on certain web servers. And it tells people, it tells um, search engine robots that are crawling the internet um, at all times what files, what parts of the of the website that it can access, and which ones it cannot access. So if we were to go to the IP address above, and we were to prepend a slash, and we were to append a slash and a robots.txt onto the end of this, and then hit enter. We would see here that we have a we have a flag. So the flag is what we want to get for each one of these challenges. And just in case you were wondering, this is the uh, this is the endpoint that I'm looking at right now. Okay, so inside here we've got um, this flag right here. So we can submit this to the um, to the target to the um, to the CTF page. So what we can do is we can submit a flag. So over here at the top of the page, we can submit the flag, click in, paste the flag, and then click on claim a flag. Okay, so we I've actually solved this challenge before, so it says we've claimed it before, that's great. But another thing that we can do is we can take a look at the robots.txt page and it says, that this endpoint is not allowed to be accessed. So it's no Google bot. So this means that they don't want us looking at this, um, at this directory. That means we have to access the directory. So we're going to copy this and then we're going to append it to the URL here. And then we're going to access this page, access this directory. So it says, hi, I'm Bender, look closer. So this is, um, this is a reference to looking closer at the web page. So the way you would look closer at a web page is you would inspect it. So you can right click and then you can view the page's source by clicking on this button right here, view page source. And this is gonna show all of the, all of the source code for this web page. So this is actually, a, it's, a, it's a very common um, beginner's technique for doing um, web app security testing. So if we see, we see in the, in the code over here, there's a, there's a comment. And inside the comment, there is a flag. So the flag is this right here. So we can just highlight it and copy it. Then go back to the Echo CTF page and submit this flag here. Claim the flag. It says, we've already claimed this flag before. Okay, great. Okay. So we're actually finished with the challenge. So the challenge here, it tells you what IP address we need to access. 
and it also tells us how many flags we need to um, how many flags we need to submit to finish the challenge. So it says here we need to submit two flags from the application, and we need to access the service. So we access the service, and we submitted the two flags. So we're finished. All right. So we're finished with this challenge. We're going to go back to um, we're going to go back to the network here, and we can access the next challenge. Hey there, hacker frogs. Are you enjoying this workshop? Learning new concepts and skills? If so, there's a way you can support the channel. And it's totally free. Just click on the subscribe button below the video. Also, click on the like button. And if you have questions or comments on this workshop, please leave them below the video. Thanks for listening. And now, back to our scheduled programming.